Dr. Mark Show. Nope. From the word of the Dr. Mark Show debuts this Monday at 11.30 on Wendy Radio Northwest. Got some tough questions? Uh, We've got biblical uh, answers. Feeling a little lost? We'll help you find a way. Helping you take the next step. We're Moody Radio. From the word to life. Well, nice quick shot together. We're headed down for a foggy 24 degrees through to Washington and the Idaho Panhandle. In fact, we're going to see fog all the way through Wednesday. Then Wednesday night, we're going to see a chance of snow showers. We'll see a chance of snow showers pretty much through the end of the week and maybe early into the weekend. Not necessarily a lot of accumulation in the lower elevations. We will see more mountain snows. Our daily highs through the rest of the week will be in the upper 30s. Our very lows will be into the upper 20s. Last year, 2018, a life service is held with 1,500 young men and women through the My Choice Clinics for pregnancy testings, ultrasounds, STD testings, and prenatal care, and much, much more. With each of those visits, yeah, life services right. have the opportunity to plant the seed for Christ with loving, practical care, and focused prayer. You can help make those life-affirming decisions possible with your support of life services. Moody Radio is part of Life Services this Sanctity of Human Life Month. We hope that you will as well. Give a gift online. Go to moodyradio.org slash northwest. Moodyradio.org slash northwest. You'll see the Life Services link right on our homepage. Give that a click. And then we pray that you be generous with a donation to Life Services. In fact, a simple $32 gift will provide one young woman with a pregnancy test, a one-hour consultation with a registered nurse, part of the Life Services Medical Team, and also an advocate to help her process what she's thinking and feeling, and pray with her, support her through that decision-making process and beyond. A $240 gift, well, that gift provides an abortion minded client with her first prenatal exam, labs, and an opportunity to see her child on an ultrasound screen. Well, these things are only possible because of the general support of God's people, and we know that you will play a part in the sanctity of human life by supporting life services. Go online to our website, moodyradio.org slash northwest. moodyradio.org slash northwest, and click on the life services link. Finding trust and faith-building entertainment for your kids is easy with the Adventures in Odyssey Club. It's an online community with almost every episode ever and a Focus on the Family Clubhouse magazine subscription. AIOClub.org slash radio. Father, I pray that you would help my five-year-old to stop squirming during devotions. Dear Lord, I pray that you would help my daughter come back to church. <sighs> Heavenly Father, I'm trying to talk to my kids about you, but I feel like they're not listening. Well, maybe you've prayed some very similar prayers for your own children or your grandkids. This is Focus on the Family, and your host is Focus President and Dr. Jim Daly. I'm John Fuller. John, when my first son was born, Trent, uh, man, I was so enthralled by him that I stayed awake all night long just holding him and whispering over him and praying for him. It's that special moment that I know many parents had as well. And with that hope that you heard in those uh, parents a moment ago, you're praying that your son or daughter will enjoy a deep, close relationship with Christ for their entire life. That's what it's about. And uh, for the Christian parent listening, I know that's the longing of your heart. But I can imagine, too, like Gene and I, we sometimes feel like, have we done enough? Have we fallen short to really demonstrate to our kids uh, what it means to be a Christian, to live it out uh, right in front of them so they can see it very authentically? But as we learn in 2 Timothy 1.7, God doesn't give us a spirit of fear. And here at Focus on the Family, we want to encourage you, remind you, that God is enough. He is giving you a sound mind and the skills you need to raise your kids in Christ. And we know from research that only 11%, think of this, only 11% of those who abandon their childhood faith say they came from a home where a vibrant faith was taught and practiced. If you're like me, you probably hear that and think, is my faith really vibrant so my kids can see it? Well, our guest today has one of the very same things and is here to offer all of us some practical ways to instill a strong 